How much longer before my turn, sir? I have been waiting for hours already. My tired bones can't take it anymore. Patience, old man. You are next in the queue. But before you go inside, you must give me five gold coins. Five gold coins? Whatever for? To enter the court, old man. Everybody who wishes to meet the emperor must pay these dues. What dues? I have never heard of such nonsense. I refuse to pay you anything. Come on now. Stop being stubborn. These rules are not set by me. This is how the system works. What system? I haven't heard of any such system set by the emperor. I shall take you to a head guard who will explain the system to you. Come along with me now. <laughs> Sir, this old man refuses to pay the charges for entering the court. Look, old man, you must pay for my guards to allow you to enter. Why should I pay anything to you? How can you charge me for a meeting with the emperor? Look, sir, as you have noticed, there are hundreds of people waiting outside to meet the emperor. It's not possible to allow everybody to enter the court. Those who wish so must pay the charges. You call this fair? This is cheating. I refuse to pay anything to you. In that case, you cannot enter. Guards, ensure huh? that this man does not meet the emperor. Sir, there is an old man waiting to meet you. To meet me? Please bring him inside. Greetings, Raja Birbal. What can I do for you? You alone can help me out of this situation, sir. My name is Ramdev. I am a poor folk singer. Having heard of the Emperor's ears for music, I have travelled all the way from Rajasthan to present some of my compositions to him. But when I went to meet him at the palace the other day... So that's how the guards have been cheating poor innocent people. I must do something about this. Don't worry, Ramdev ji, you shall soon get to present your compositions to the emperor. Thank you, sir. I knew I could count on you. Excuse me, sir. I'm here to meet the great Emperor Akbar. So is everybody else here, old man. Before you go inside, you have to pay me five gold coins. Five gold coins? I'm a poor man, sir. I don't even have the money to buy food. How can I give you such a big amount? If you don't have any money, old man, then stop wasting my time and leave right now. Please help me, sir. I'm a poor man. Can I pay your charges later? Oh... Let me take you to the head guard and see what he has to say. Old man, you must pay up if you want to meet the emperor. That is the system we follow here. But I don't have any money, sir. Then stop wasting our time, old man. There are hundreds of people waiting to meet the emperor. I have a suggestion. The Emperor will surely be happy with my compositions and reward me. I will share half of that reward with you. Will that do? Mm, half of the reward, is it? That seems fine. Guards, let him meet the Emperor. Make sure that he shares half of his reward with us. Thank you, sir. You're very kind.
Greetings, Your Majesty. I come from the land of Rajasthan with songs specially composed in Your Majesty's honor. Welcome, Ramdev Ji. Ramdev ji that was a beautiful rendition i am very pleased tell me what reward would you like thank you your majesty i request you to reward me with 100 whip lashes huh? Huh? 100 whip lashes why do you want to get whip man i want to reward you with gold coins jewelry and you are asking for a 100 whip lashes very strange are you sure that's what you want ramdev ji i am very sure your majesty all right then if you so insist God grant Ram Dev ji his wish Wait I would first like to call the person whom I have promised to share the reward with Share the reward what are you saying Your majesty allow me to explain Since I couldn't pay 5 gold coins to the head guard as charges for meeting you I promised the head guard to share half of my reward with him Summon the head guard Greetings, Your Majesty. How dare you cheat the people of my kingdom like this? Guards, throw this man into the dungeon and let him starve to death. As for the rest of the guards who have been part of the system, I banish them from my kingdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. Birbal, you may remove your disguise now. This was indeed a good way of teaching these cheats a lesson. I knew it had to be you. Bravo! Very well done. Thank you, Your Majesty. I would now request to present to you the real folk singer Ram Dev Ji, who has come all the way from Rajasthan to meet you. If it were not for him, I wouldn't have known about these cheats. Please invite him, Birbal. I would like to hear the original Ramdev ji now and this time I shall not reward him with whip lashes Long live Ramdev ji Long live Ramdev ji Long live Ramdev ji Sir Dev Singh ji you have just returned from Persia Why don't you tell us about your trip? How was it? Your Majesty, the trip was good, and the Emperor of Persia sends his greetings to you. The Emperor also fondly remembers Birbal. In fact, he has invited Birbal to come and stay as his guest for some time, as he enjoyed his company immensely the last time. So, Birbal, you seem to have acquired one more admirer, and that too, an emperor. Thank you, Your Majesty. I enjoyed the emperor's company too. He is a very wise man. Birbal, you seem to be very impressed with the emperor of Persia. You think he is a better emperor than I am? Your Majesty, I merely said I enjoyed his company, and he is a wise man. I made no comparisons. Sir, why not make comparisons? Sukhdev Singh ji, you have traveled to distant lands and empires. Tell us. Which is the best ruled land that you have visited? Without a doubt, our empire is the best one, Your Majesty. Certainly, Your Majesty. I have been traveling all over our empire and have personally seen how happy the people are. That's right, Your Majesty. And why shouldn't they be happy? 
you are a just and a wise ruler you do not impose heavy taxes on the people you distribute so much wealth amongst the poor everybody feels lucky to have a ruler like you your majesty our armies are strong each and every soldier of our army would lay down their lives without a moment's hesitation to defend our empire you inspire such deep and strong loyalty amongst them your yeah, majesty i can bet anything that our empire is the best there never has been and there never will be a better just and a more powerful emperor than you yes your majesty i second that you are the best yo yo you're, you're the best your majesty thank you thank you bimbal You haven't said a word. What do you think, Your Majesty? Go on, Birbal. Speak up. Your Majesty, I don't believe us is the perfect umpire, or you are perfect either. Birbal, you seem to have made it a habit to contradict everybody just to be different, and this is the limit. Yes, Birbal. If you don't agree that ours is the perfect empire then tell us which is a better one Your Majesty I reiterate you are certainly a good emperor but you're not perfect just like any other human being you too have flaws that's the way god has made us human beings This is an insult how dare you openly insult the emperor Birbal if you don't think our empire is the best and you don't think of me as the best emperor then i don't want you to stay here please leave i shall not tolerate anyone who openly insults me in my court just to be a little different your majesty i didn't mean to insult or offend you i was merely trying to point out that nobody and no place is perfect there is always room for improvement first you insult the emperor and i am fire And now you patronize the emperor by saying he needs to improve? Bilbal, I'm totally fed up with you. Please leave. As you wish, your majesty. Please don't let this upset you, your majesty. This time Bilbal went too far trying to be different. You were right in asking him to leave. Yes, you're right. I shouldn't let this affect me. I always liked Birbal and thought him to be a very wise man, but he disappointed me. I was unfair to Birbal yesterday. I'm sure he is upset with me. I understand what he was trying to say yesterday. I shall ask him to come back. and also present him with a nice gift god go to birbal's house and ask him to come to the court immediately Where is Birbal? Your Majesty, there was nobody at his house. The door was locked. Where could he have gone? I want you to go and find him. Find his servants and ask them. Then go to him and return to court with Birbal. Go on, hurry. Your Majesty are you calling Birbal back? Yes. I made a mistake yesterday and asked Birbal to leave. As usual, he was being honest and I I punished him for doing so. Yes. Why haven't you brought Birbal with you? Where is he? 
your your majesty i tried to find his servants and finally found one of them in the bazaar he said that birbal packed his bags and has left on a long journey he didn't know where he also said that he would be gone for a long time oh i have deeply hurt my friend's feelings this time that's why he left long live the rabbit long live the rabbit Three months passed by and Birbal did not return. The emperor started missing his friend more and more. He became irritable, distracted and sad. Uh, Your Majesty Yes. I'm sorry. I feel so terrible for doing wrong with Birbal and now he's gone. Your Majesty, why not send our messengers to different cities and to his relatives and friends place with a message asking him to come back? No. I don't think he shall respond. I shall have to go personally and escort him back. I think I have deeply hurt him this time. Your Majesty, but how do we find out where he is? Yes. I have been thinking about it. He has several kings as friends and he must be staying with one of them. I shall send a message to all the kings which could only be understood by Birbal. Excellent your majesty that way if any of the kings respond to your message we shall know where birbal is Exactly Now what the message shall be I'll tell you I cannot understand this message either your majesty Birbal can you understand this message from emperor akbar My friend I have fixed the marriage of the lakes in my city do ask the rivers of your kingdom to attend the wedding hmm Yes, it is a most puzzling message, people. Do you understand what the emperor is trying to say? Your Majesty, I think I understand what the emperor is trying to say. We shall send a reply to him. Our rivers shall be delighted to attend the weddings of your lakes. Please ask the wells of your kingdom to stand at the gates of your city to receive them. Wonderful. This has to be Birbal. I shall leave for Persia immediately. Manilal was a trader, a honest and a trusted man. He worked hard and made a lot of money. He used to keep his hard-earned money in a bag and keep this bag locked up in a trunk next to his bed.
I remember looking the trunk last night. This is strange. Oh, oh my God! 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 Y yes, sir. What happened? My money has been stolen. Did you notice someone strange around the house last night? No, sir. I saw no one. I am ruined. I have lost everything. What will I do now? How will I ever get it back? Sir, why don't you go to the Emperor Akbar? He may be able to help you. Yes, yes. I think I'll have to do that. And so when I got up in the morning, I saw that all my money was gone. Now, Your Majesty, I'm hoping you could help me get my money back. Hmm. It is quite sad. But don't you worry. We shall get to the bottom of this matter. Birbal, I want you to look into this matter. Yes, Your Majesty. Manila, do you suspect anyone who would do this? I think it has to be someone from your house as no outsider could have gotten away with this without getting caught. Besides, the thief knew exactly where you hid your keys too. Sir, all my servants have been with me for many, many years and they have always been honest and loyal. And besides, I have no proof to even suspect anyone. Birbal, you think you'll be able to solve this case with no witnesses or evidence available? I most certainly can, Your Majesty. But for that, I would like to be excused from the court for half an hour. Certainly, Birbal. Thank you, Your Majesty. In the meantime, Manilal, I want you to get all your servants and guards to the court. As you wish, Raja Birbal. Birbal. Why have you brought this bunch of sticks to the court? I'll explain to you in a moment, Your Majesty. First, I want all of you to pick up one stick and keep it with you. Your Majesty, these are magical sticks. I got them as gift from a sage who got them straight from the gods after years of meditation. These sticks of the same length have the most amazing power. The one kept with the thief will grow by an inch by tomorrow morning and we shall know who he is. Are you sure these are truly magical sticks, Birbal? Yes, Your Majesty. I have tried them out several times. In that case, I want all of you to be back in the court tomorrow morning with the sticks. Let's find out if the culprit is amongst them. Certainly, Your Majesty. Would you all please hand me the sticks so that I can measure them? Your Majesty, it's the guard who is the thief. Your Majesty, his stick is exactly an inch shorter than the others. These are not magical sticks. These are just ordinary sticks all cut to the same length. As he is a thief, he thought that his stick will grow by an inch. So he cut it an inch shorter. I am sorry, Your Majesty. Please forgive me. 
I confess, I stole the money from my master's room. And yesterday, when Raja Birbal spoke about the magic sticks, I got very scared. So I thought if I cut the stick by one inch, I shall be saved. I needed the money very badly and I'm sorry for what I did. I have not spent anything yet and will return the whole amount back immediately. Your Majesty, I shall eternally be grateful to you for helping me get my money back. Thank you, Your Majesty. But you must thank Birbal, without whose help we would not have solved this case. Thank you, Raja Birbal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty.